Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Khalid Mahmood. Today we will draw this beautiful symmetric mechanical profile in AutoCAD. It's a step by step exercise and even a beginner you can follow along. This one is exercise 48. So we will break it down into a circle, arc, fillet and precise positioning all using a simple command. So let's get started. Step 1. Setting up drawing environment. First, we will set the drawing environment. Set a unit as a decimal using U N press enter. Set as a decimal, precision 0, 0.00 and insertion scale will be millimeter. Press OK. Now step 2. Draw a center reference circle. If you see in this diagram, this one is our central reference circle. Radius will be 197.24. So use circle command using C enter. Click specific point and put a radius 197.24. Press enter. This will be our construction reference. Make it dashed using a center layer. So select this circle, go to properties and check as a color will be red and line type you can use dashed. Otherwise you can use center profile. Now step 3. Draw the main circle. So if you see in this diagram, this one is our main circle. Radius will be 130 and the another circle will be this one and this radius will be 150. Okay, so we need to create two circles. Activate circle command, click on same center point and put a radius as a 130. Press enter. Now again, create one more circle using C for circle command, click on same center point and put a value as a radius 150. Press enter. Now step 4. Add bolt hole circle. So if you see the diagram, this one is our bolt hole circle. These three as a same profile. Okay. If you see this outer circle, this outer circle will be 30 radius and inner circle radius will be 15. So we need to create this one, okay, on this reference circle coordinate point. Now you can activate circle command using C enter, click on this coordinate point and put a value as a radius 30, press enter. Now again create one more circle as a inner circle, click on same center point and put a value as a radius 15, press enter. Now need to create this inner polygon. So you can use POL for polygon command. Put a value as a number of side, it will be 6. Press enter. Click on same center point and use inscribed circle. If you see, this value will be 17.3 as a dia. So we need to put half as a radius. So put it here. 8. 0.65 press enter now need to create the second one this one and after complete need to create this one from here to here it will be angle 60 so need to rotate this profile as a 60 angle upside and as same as downside so select this profile Use RO for rotate command. Click on this center point and choose a copy command using C enter and put a value as a angle 60. Press enter. Now again select all the profile using MI for mirror and click on the center point to put it here. Choose as a node. Now we need to create these curves. And radius will be 50. So you can use fillet command using F enter R for radius and radius value will be 50. Press enter. 
we need to create multiple curves so using m for multiple first this circle second this circle as same as first this circle second this circle also as same as for this one okay now again need to create also here also put it here now step 5 create a center cut out cut these parts using tr double enter trim this one and also this one trim this one and this one trim this one and this one our right side part almost complete this one so we need to create this left side slot this one so now step 6 draw side arc profile so first we need to create these smaller two circle so need to create c for circle on same center point and put a value as a radius 40 for outer circle for inner circle radius 30 this one as a radius 30 select both circle using m for move click on any specific point and put a cursor left side as a 200 press enter m for move p for previous selection press enter click on a specific point and upside it will be 50 press enter now we need to create these two circle outer circle will be 80 radius and inner circle will be 70 radius so you see for circle command click on same center point and put a value as a outer circle 80 again same inner circle as a radius 70 press enter select both circle choose m for move command click it here left side it will be 200 press enter again m for move p for previous selection press enter downside it will be 150 press enter need to create these curves okay radius will be 200 so you can use here as a circle tangent tangent radius so you can find this circle go to draw toolbar and put click it here choose as a tangent tangent radius click on this first point click on this second point and put a value as a radius 200 press enter okay now tr enter t for cutting edge select this circle and this circle press enter and trim this extra part now step 7 fillet and smoothen the shapes so we need to create it here as a smooth shape using f for fillet r for radius 50 click on this circle to this circle if you see we make this one here is extra part will remove so we go back using ctrl z again f for fillet r for radius and radius will be 50 press enter now you can use here as a trim trim for t press enter choose as a no trim so first this circle and second this circle so now this one is available now again need to create here as a curve okay so again use fillet command f for fillet r for radius put a value as a radius 30 press enter first this circle outer circle and second this circle now trim unwanted part of this drawing so using tr double enter trim this one this one this one and this one and also this one select all your drawing except this center circle go to properties as a thickness 0 0.30 now step 8 final touch mirror and clean up clean up the construction circle if needed if the drawing is symmetric on any axis you can mirror for faster result check all the arcs and curves for smooth connection okay all the curves need to check 
Now you can add smart dimension using dimension diameter, dimension radius and dimension angular command. This step is optional but helps with your practice purposes. Here is our final drawing, neat and clean, symmetric and totally beginner friendly. We use just a few tools, circle, arc, trim, fillet and rotate. I hope this tutorial will helpful for you. If you learn something new today, so don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment which exercise you want to next. Also hit the join button if you want to support the channel and get it exclusive content files and box. I have added the PDF file link in the description box. Download it. Practice this yourself next until time. So keep learning, keep practicing, keep drawing and keep supporting. Tata, bye bye, take care.